Hello, welcome back to the garden. At the beginning of the year, I had this brilliant or maybe crazy idea that I was gonna try growing potatoes in 100% coffee grounds. And over the next couple of months after I had this idea, my freezer slowly got filled up with used coffee grounds. I was quite lucky. I managed to pick up a couple of bags from a, a kind of famous coffee company but then I also saved loads of the coffee grounds that we used. And honestly, I had so much in the freezer. It was getting to a point where, you know, I was starting to upset other people in the family. But um, I was so excited to give this a go. And on the 4th of May, I decided that rather than putting the potatoes directly into the coffee grounds, that I was going to... Um, grow them in really small pots to begin with so they'd already had a chance to start growing um, because I thought if I put them straight into the coffee grounds the coffee grounds I imagine are going to get quite wet and heavy and it might be quite hard for the potatoes to actually kind of penetrate through um, that kind of thick layer rather than just being in compost so I started them off in some pots and let them grow a little bit bigger so on the 10th of June I decided that the potatoes looked big enough, healthy enough that I could transplant them straight into the coffee grounds and it will give them a really good chance to get going, which um, as you can see was pretty straightforward, put them in and then I gave them a water and I was quite surprised actually to see how long it took for the water to actually penetrate through, but it's probably like, you know, when you're making filter coffee or something. So um, it was quite interesting. I then just decided to leave them in the greenhouse and my greenhouse is a little bit shady. So I just just kind of put them there left them and I thought I'll let them establish over you know a couple of weeks maybe and then I'll put them out in the garden um, but a month later okay I was expecting that by now we would start seeing yellowing of leaves and even though they did have that little bit of compost to begin with I did think that we were going to be having yellow leaves you know they would have died by now the acidity from the coffee grounds would have done something to the plants and we would be you know, not where we were. Almost 30 days later, I had these really lush potatoes that definitely grown. Okay, so fast forward on from that, we then had a heat wave in the UK and pretty much overnight, the potatoes went from looking really nice and beautiful to almost dead. Now, before the photo of now, what they look like now, they did start going a little bit yellow a couple of days before they completely died. Now, I am putting this really down generally to the fact that they were still in the greenhouse, we had a heat wave, and it was just actually too hot for the leaves of the potato plants. So I don't wanna say it was 100% down to the fact that the potatoes um, had died from the coffee grounds, but that leads us to today. And uh, yes, you can see that I've pretty much got no potato plants left, but if you look closely, there still is a small bit of green on there. They are still growing. So I'm so excited about this because honestly, I was expecting that straight away they would have, you know, died overnight after I'd planted them out. So what I'm gonna to do today is actually harvest the potatoes. And I wasn't actually gonna do a video about this. I thought, you know, what am I gonna show you to be honest, um, but, there is going to be something in there, definitely. They are still growing and I really wish that I'd maybe looked after them a little bit more when we had that heat wave because maybe it'd be a different story. So next year, I'm definitely going to give this experiment another go and maybe in a couple more pots as well. So, you know, if one doesn't do very well, we can see how it goes. Anyway, I could carry on talking about these potatoes all day, but you're here for the same reason as I am. And that is to tip this bucket out, see if there's any potatoes, what kind of harvest it is, how heavy it is. And I wonder actually, if there are potatoes, are they gonna taste like coffee? So I've got a little box here and I thought I could harvest the potatoes straight into here and it will hopefully keep all of the coffee grounds together. It'd be quite interesting actually to see how the coffee grounds have actually broken down in the few months they've been in here. My hands um, from just holding the bottom of the pot um, smell like really like coffee and compost mixed together. Quite strange. Um, but yeah, let's see what is in here. 
Before I empty this though, I just want you to take a little moment to have a think about what you predict is gonna be underneath these coffee grounds. And I would love you to leave a comment um, after you've seen the results to see how it compared with your prediction. As I said, there is still a little bit of green on here and um, I'm not sure what's going on because it looks like it's actually um, almost snapped off, but it is still growing. Um, and it's pretty cool actually. I don't know if you can see there, but there are actual ungrounded coffee beans on there as well. So exciting. Anyway, enough talking. Let's have a look and see what is underneath. Okay, so firstly, it's really wet and you can see that it's still, you know, pretty much coffee grounds there. It's not even composted or anything like that. And it's so heavy. No potatoes so far either. Okay, there is the seed potato. Doesn't look promising, does it? First potato, one has grown. One potato. Oh, look at that. That is still a green shoot. So I'm wondering if that belonged to that slightly dying shoot at the top. But we have potatoes. They are absolutely tiny, um, but there are potatoes. There you go, potatoes. But as you can see, it doesn't look like we've got any more. And I was thinking that actually there would be a little bit more compost around that um, seed potato. But by the looks of it, I can't see the other seed potato, so it must still be in here. Oh, there is another potato. <laughs> oh, there is the second seed potato. And again, there are some potatoes on there. But I think that is going to be it. There are no more potatoes in here. So there you go. We did have a harvest of potatoes. However, it's absolutely abysmal. I'm not even going to bother weighing those and they are not going to be eaten. They will be chucked straight on the compost heap. Um, but taking away from this, I actually think that if I'd looked after them a little bit better, I definitely would have had some slightly bigger potatoes. If we'd not had that heat wave when we did that kind of killed them off, these potatoes would have grown bigger, 100%. Um, so I'm not putting this down to be an absolute failure and I'm definitely going to give this a go next year. But also I have a load of coffee grounds and even tea leaves that I didn't use in this experiment this year. So rather than leaving them in the freezer, what I've decided to do today is that I am going to mix those kind of a 50-50 with some wood chip that I've got. Been doing quite a lot of kind of tidying up in the woodland area and loads of stuff that got cut down last year has now been chipped. So what I'm going to do is is in some large potato buckets, maybe the 30 litre ones, I'm gonna mix those 50-50 with the coffee grounds and 50-50 with the tea leaves. I'm also gonna do a 50-50 mix with grass clippings and wood chips as well. I'm gonna leave those to one side and then I can um, use those next year to grow some potatoes in as well because i think it's always fun doing potato experiments and as you can see they don't always um work very well but it's so fun and how cool would i have looked if i'd had a load of potatoes that i did grow in coffee grounds completely for free but anyway i'm gonna leave the video here thank you so much for watching today's video if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of all of my latest videos as ever YouTube have some videos up now on the screen that they think you're like so please go ahead and watch those and I'll see you again bye